Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. Have you ever been involved in any incidents? Well, actually, there was one a few months ago. We came across a fishing board that had overturned in this area. Had they set off in heavy weather? No, it was reasonably calm at the time. Nobody's sure what happened. They're still investigating. There's quite a lot of submarine activity in this area, isn't there? Yes, but at that time there were none in the area, apparently. What have they checked on the bridge? Oh, the lot! A mass of documents, logbooks, ectus, radars, voyage, data recorder, and a lot more. He, even the paper for the echo sounder. Did they find any deficiencies? Uh, there were cancelled charts on the chart table. Unfortunately, that's directly in violation of the ISM code. They should have been removed to avoid accidental use. <laughs> Oh, and thank God you brought the fire extinguisher back after checking its expiry date, because they uh, inspected that too. What have they checked on the bridge? Oh, the lot. A mass of documents, logbooks, ectus, radars, voyage, data recorder, and a lot more. He, even the paper for the echo sounder. Did they find any deficiencies? They were cancelled charts on the chart table. Unfortunately, that's directly in violation of the ISM code. They should have been removed to avoid accidental use. Oh, and thank God you brought the fire extinguisher back after checking its expiry date, because they uh, inspected that too. Captain, I'd like to talk to you. I'm thinking about going to another company where the pay is a bit better. Well, I guess you need to decide what your priorities are. What's the most important thing to you? Money or opportunities? Well, at the moment it's money. My wife wants a bigger flat. She also wants us to start a family soon. Yes, I see. But that's your wife. What about you? What do you want? To be frank, I'd rather concentrate on my career than have children. And I'm perfectly happy in the flat we have just now. It's been in the family for about 70 years. I guess if it was just my own decision, I'd like to become a master. OK, so you've answered your own question. Yes, you're right. If I stay with this company, then I've got a good chance of promotion. I've just had a look round the vessel, and you remember yesterday I commented on a few things. Yeah, I remember you said you found the ratings used a tin can as an ashtray. And there was a faulty gas meter and not enough warning signs displayed. Yes, they've mostly been resolved with the exception of the signs. Can you make sure that's sorted by tomorrow? Yeah, I'm on to it now. John, I'm afraid we've got a problem. What cargo did you carry in the holds on your last voyage? Green? Why? Hello, is that Mr. Anderson? Yes, speaking. Oh, hello, this is Ronald Willis, third officer for the Sea Prince. Oh, where are you? I'm waiting for you at Rotterdam Airport. I'm really sorry, but I'm still at Brussels Airport. My flight was delayed, and now they say it's cancelled because of engine problems. I see. So how are you planning to get here? I've been told to take a taxi from the airport to Antwerp. Then there's a train from Antwerp to Rotterdam that leaves at 18.30. I'll be in Rotterdam at 19.45. OK. I'll pick you up at the station and take you directly to the port. The company have raised the problem of fatigue again. They've been talking about that for a long time. 
My friend worked on a small vessel last year, and it was a nightmare. There were only two watchkeeping officers on board, he and the master. They worked six hours on, six hours off for four months, and the vessel called at 21 ports in two months. I don't envy them. They must have been exhausted what with the paperwork, cargo operations, and different inspections. Yeah, and one night, when he relieved the master on the bridge, he sat in one of the wheelhouse chairs, looked at the radar and electronic chart, and then fell asleep. He was alone on the bridge. So what happened? Did they collide with another vessel? Um, um, well, he didn't wake up till the vessel grounded about an hour later. So, how was the course? Did you find it useful? Not really, no. Well, that's a bit of a waste. Sometimes the courses they send us on aren't always very relevant or the content can be out of date. It wasn't so much the course itself, it was the trainer. Huh. I think some of these shore-based trainers can get out of touch with what life is really like at sea nowadays. Well, he was experienced enough, but he just never stopped talking. He didn't ask us any questions, even though we had a huge amount of experience between us. After a while, I just switched off and stopped listening. You'll never guess what I saw yesterday. Don't tell me. W was the whale that had a face like the mast? <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw hundreds of yellow rubber ducks. What? Uh, are you serious? Yes. Haven't you heard about them? They broke free from a cargo vessel about 15 years Good morning. You're through to Marlins. How can I help you? Uh, hello. I'd uh, like to speak to Andy, please. I'm sorry. He's in a meeting at the moment. Can I put you through to Chris instead? Or would you like to leave a message? Uh, no, it's, it's OK, thanks. I'll call back later. Excuse me, I think you've got my bag there. I'm so sorry, yes. It's mine as two wheels, not four. This is mine coming now, last as usual. I'm still waiting for another one. Ah, oh, no. The conveyor belt stopped. Typical. I never seem to manage a flight without losing at least one bag. Is it that one over there? No, I'm waiting for a rucksack. Oh, well, it's a trip to lost luggage for me. Good luck. So, we've got TVs in hold number two and DVD players in hold number three. And what's in hold number four? We've got phones in there. Oh, I've just bought my son a drone. I said four. So, what are you up to now? Well, I've been looking at the chart, sir. OK, and have you checked the tide tables? I wasn't able to find them, sir. And what's the vessel's draft? Um, I don't know, sir. And what's the navigational warning in this location? According to the radio information, there are several containers that are adrift, sir. Well, at least that's something you do know. We're going to be hitting some heavy weather soon. So before we do, I want you to find out the answers to my other questions. Look, we've had nothing but problems with this trip. We had delays with Port State Control in Mozambique, who detained us for one day for no real reason. Then we had that problem with suspected pirates off Madagascar. Not to mention those two stowaways who managed to get on board in Nigeria. So it's not our fault we're not going to be arriving on time in Namibia. Look, we've had nothing but problems with this trip. We had delays with Port State Control in Mozambique, who detained us for... It's really busy. Anything to report? Yes. This is one of the busiest areas. You have to really concentrate. 
These fishing vessels just don't seem to follow any rules. Hmm. I've got my eye on that one over there. He could well be a pirate skiff. What's that in the distance? It's an LNG tanker. They don't like them coming too close to the coast. There are a lot of restrictions. They're really strict. And there's so many overcrowded ferries in this vicinity. There was an accident involving one just last month. It capsized in rough seas. Luckily, there were a few container vessels that managed to save quite a few of the passengers. It's really busy. Anything to report? Yes. This is one of the busiest areas. You have to really concentrate. These fishing vessels just don't seem to follow any rules. Hmm. I've got my eye on that one over there. He could well be a pirate skiff. What's that in the distance? It's an LNG tanker. They don't like them coming too close to the coast. There are a lot of restrictions. They're really strict. And there's so many overcrowded ferries in this vicinity. There was an accident involving one just last month. It capsized in rough seas. Luckily, there were a few container vessels that managed to save quite a few of the passengers. Why haven't you tightened the screw? Why are there paint tins all over the deck? Why are there paint tins all over the deck? Why haven't you repaired the cargo gear? Where's that new cadet? What's the security level now? It says on the itinerary that the ferry leaves at 23.15 hours. I think the number of worldwide pirate attacks dropped to about 279 this year. Did you know that approximately 80% of marine pollution comes from the land? Did you know that approximately 80% of marine pollution comes from the land? We will reduce speed 1.3 miles from the harbour entrance. I've just taken my temperature. It's 36.8 degrees centigrade.
Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you want to say thank you for the creator, please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video for you.